Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams, um, and we're going to deal with a sample today. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the sample variance, and I think that without charging you extra, I'm also going to do the standard deviation. So, um, see you over in Excel. Well, here I am over in Excel, and what we're going to, whoa, where'd that come from? What we're going to work on is this formula right here, S squared. S squared represents the variance of a sample, and we're going to do that by taking the distance that each value of x falls from the mean. We're going to square that distance. Once we have all of our the distance from x bar for all of our x's, and we have them squared, we're going to use this operator that means sum all and add them all up. Once I get the top of this formula worked, then I'm going to divide it by n minus 1. And you may recall that n minus 1 is degrees of freedom. Right? We divide by n minus 1 to make the sample variance and standard deviation an unbiased estimator of the population parameter. Sounds very fancy, doesn't it? But I'm going to show you how to calculate this in a second. So the first thing that we need is the mean, and the mean is simply the arithmetic average of all of our values of x. So we're going to take all of our values of x, and we're going to add them together, and we're going to divide by 15. Right? So I could add all of these up, right? and I could um, divide them. And if I add them all together, I get 510, and when I then divide by my 15 observations, I get an arithmetic mean X bar or the average of 34. You can, if you are Excel inclined, we can come over, uh, we'll come down here and I can type equals A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, which is average, and then I just simply click, drag, and hit enter, and I see that my average is 34. So now what I need to do, I've gotten the x bar. Now I need to subtract each value of x from x bar or the mean. And so what that's going to look like for those of you who are doing this with a pencil and a piece of paper is I'm going to take 13 minus 34. And then I'm going to take 16 minus 34. And I'm going to take 20 minus 34. And I'm going to do that all the way down for all 15 observations. But I think I'm going to use Excel and let it do it for me. So in order to make this happen easy, I'm going to put equals. And that lets Excel know I'm getting ready to do something. I'm going to say 13 minus, we calculated the mean down here to be 34. Now what I want to do is I want to lock that mean, that um, value that's in box E20 in as a hard cell reference. So I'm going to insert two dollar signs, one before the column designation and one before the row designation, and I'm going to hit enter. Now what will happen is I can copy that formatting by getting, see that little plus sign? I'm just left click, drag down, and let go. And whoa, we have math. All right, so now what I have accomplished thus far is I have done this part of the formula. I've done x minus x bar. Now I've got to take and do the squared part. So I'm going to come up here and normally what I could do if I'm doing this by hand, right, by hand, there's nothing wrong by hand, it would be negative 21 squared, negative 18 squared, negative 14 squared, and again I do that all the way down till I got to the bottom, or I can simply let Excel do it. I'm going to put in an equal sign. Remember, that always tells Excel we're getting ready to want it to do some math. And I'm going to take 
I'm going to click 21. So I see I have F4. I want F4 multiplied by F4. All I used was the asterisk key, right? You could use the asterisk key on your, new, on your number pad if you have one or shift eight, either one. And I'm going to hit enter. So again, I can copy that formatting with my little plus sign. Down I go. Boom. These are all the squared, all of those distances squared. So now what I know is I've done my x minus x bar. So that part, check. Squared, check. Now I'm going to use my large operator that says sum all, and I'm going to add all of those values together to come up with the top of my formula. So I'm simply going to come here and I'm going to say equal sum. Right? And that simply tells Excel, hey guys, I want you to sum everything in G4 to G18. I'm going to hit enter. And now I know that the sum of the square distances from the mean is 1582. So if I come back over here to my formula, now what I know is I have S squared is equal to 1,582 divided by N minus 1. Remember we said we had 15, so we're going to divide it by 14. And when I do that little piece of math on my calculator, it gives me 113. Right? So um, I promised you a free standard deviation. And so we know that if we take off this square and make it S, the standard deviation, all I need to do is take the square root of the variance. So if S squared is equal to 113, then S is equal to the square root of 113. And according to my $5 calculator, the square root of 113 is 10. 0 0.630. And so now I know that the variance of my sample is 113. The standard deviation is 10.630. And I hope that this was useful um, and that you do well. See you soon.